Today, folks, it is astounding that we are only 4% away now from the all-time high in the S&P 500. This earnings cycle has been very pivotal for the big seven that has been driving the market to where we currently sit. When you're talking about Microsoft, Apple, Google, uh, Amazon, obviously Meta, we're going to be discussing Tesla. Now, on the overextended tech companies have pulled back a little bit. Microsoft, Tesla, obviously, we'll see if Apple can hold up on the coming earnings in the next week or two. But nonetheless, it's the bottom half of the market, as I've stated, that is starting to get some love and attention. We talked about it with banks stocks. Those are the companies that have been underdeserved in their stock prices. And I think they're going to rally a bit here. And that could really keep up any suppression from the top seven tech companies. I mean, you take a look at the markets, and it has just been wonderful. I mean, we're all green, like people are just printing money left, right and center, if they stay consistent, all these people that chase bonds and GICs, high interest savings accounts are getting jealous now. And they're like, damn, I better start putting some money in the market. And yeah, we're starting to get back to what could potentially be a new bull market, a dare I say soft landing, which I shouldn't be saying because I could be speaking too soon on that but let's talk about meta let's talk about the earnings and what's going on here because meta obviously jumped up a whopping 6.6 percent in after hours on the earnings release pulled back a little bit we'll see if it'll hold the highs into the uh, beginning of tomorrow but nonetheless the stock still has some room to run because again as all the major tech companies that have been holding up have been hitting all-time highs and beyond we are seeing these advertising players get hit obviously a little harder because people always presume in a recession people spend less on marketing but that is no longer proving to be the case now these things are not rocketing to crazy new revenue new percentage gains, but let's get into it because there's just a lot going on. And before we look at the numbers themselves, I do want to point out that there's a pivotal quarter coming up here leading into the holiday season as Apple is looking to launch, you know, their version of VR coming out in early next year. I think most people like myself that are more into gaming, which Apple is not really focused on, and gamers are the only ones primarily using some of these VR headsets right now. I think Meta is going to have a huge uh, leg up here when they actually drop this coming into the fall. I will be lined up to buy this, as I mentioned, and maybe I'll do some reviews on it as well. I I am almost a daily user, at least four days a week, I am using the Quest 2 and I'm looking to get my hands on this Quest 3 to kind of fully step up my gaming experience. So I, this is gonna be very pivotal if they can get a lot of sales moving into the holiday season. I think it really has the potential to be another big catalyst uh, for Meta to even kind of step beyond what Apple's trying to do here. Now let's talk about the earnings themselves and then we'll break down uh, some of the actual user numbers on their presentation. But revenue uh, actually jumped up into the double digits again year over year. It was up 11%, which is pretty nice to see from 28 billion to 31 billion very very nice and uh income from operations jumped 12 percent we're getting back into the double digit growth rates um which is pretty astounding from how bearish people were on this company i mean you take a look at the diluted earnings per share thanks to cost cutting is up 21 percent from an asset to liability standpoint if we just scroll down here a little bit i do want to point out uh that they were able to actually grow the assets i'm going to keep going down here we go to the balance sheet side of it 206 billion a pretty dramatic increase on total assets thanks to the cash uh continuing to stay up into the 28 billion dollar range uh, with only 72 billion uh, in total liabilities you know that did step up a little bit but they are in an incredible healthy position for where they sat they definitely got oversold when they hit that 90 a share but man it took a lot of guts and congratulations to anybody that had the the cojones to be buying it now the earnings call is coming up we'll see if they can kind of grace through that and give the stock more momentum i'm sure there's going to be mentions of ai 10 gajillion times like we saw with google but taking a look at the presentation let me just scroll through some of the existing stats that we have here uh so the average Advertising revenue by uh, geography um, has generally been increasing pretty much across all geographies. So there is a nice comeback in some revenue growth here, which is really great to see. And when we kind of just scroll down and take a look at the, um, you know, the expense percentage of revenue, we can definitely see that they have been cutting costs in pretty much every geography as well when it comes to just the marketing of sales. This just comes from the cost cutting of laying employees off, cutting back on the reality labs. I mean, this is really good to see though, because we knew this is what had the potential to propel the company if the revenues and earnings were able to keep up. And this is what companies are doing. I keep mentioning this, they're refining and dining. You find these good companies that are able to have a sticky, uh, you know, motor business and they're laying a lot of employees off and looking for cost effective ways to add to that EPS. I mean, this is what obviously is putting us in this new bull market. And obviously, as we come out of this kind of high interest rated cycle and the economy starts to normalize over the next one to three years, these companies will be much stronger than they were, you know, coming out of the crazy revenue growth period that we had over the last couple of years. So if we can get back to a place of sustainability, interest rates come down a little bit, these companies are poised to do even better. Net income, obviously, we're not back to all time highs by any metric, but, you know, they're still having some rather large expenditures into the future but that's what we want we want these kind of future tech companies to constantly be investing into that future now 
I wish I'm, I'm hoping they mentioned something about threads on the call. We did talk about how threads uh, basically have this wicked user jump and then it like crashed miserably. Um, basically like the users dropped by like 70 or 80% or something like that. So, you know, Twitter still got a bit of a base there, but we'll see how that performs over time. And I'm looking to see what they say about that on the earnings call, something to pay attention to, because I noticed there's not a lot of huge mentions of it here, uh, primarily just in the breakdown of the broad view, but family daily active users hit all time highs. Very nice to see that aspect of it. Family monthly active users, hit an all-time high very consistent here family average revenue per person still fairly consistent here i mean this is just truly defining that you know facebook is just not this old dinosaur business um everything across these metrics seems to say hey yeah, this stock deserves uh to be pushing uh you know higher and we'll see uh, where it finally peaks out at where people get exhausted from you know buying it in this kind of new pressured bull market now i should probably check out to see if in the actual statement they talk about uh, in the earnings press release that they do mention threads. Let me just see if I can search this up real quick. And so they do mention threads. Let me just read into this real quick. Now, basically, we had a good quarter. We continue to see strong engagement across all our apps, and we are most excited about the roadmap, I, roadmap I've seen in a while uh, with LLAMA, uh, LAMA 2. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'm missing something. Threads, Reels, new AI uh, products in the pipeline. Of course, they're going to mention AI in the launch of Quest 3 this fall. Very exciting stuff. But let me move my head out of the way to see if we can find some more information on Threads. Because there's really only three mentions on the search. They said, um, basically, Facebook page, Instagram accounts, and Threads profile as a means of disclosing materials. Yeah, they, they're really not giving a whole lot of details into what's going on with Threads. Just a few minor mentions there. But I look forward to listening to the earnings call and see what goes on moving forward. But at this point, I'll pass the question off to you. As always, I love to know what you think in that comment section below.